Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome to Saturday. How's everybody doing? Hope your weekend's off to a great start. It is really, really soggy here. <laughs> it's been raining here all day today. Fortunately, not as hard as it was this morning. Um, but anyway, uh, enough of that. Hey, what's up? I can't lie to you about your chances, but you have my sympathies. There we go. <laughs> it's nice. It's much better with the shorter pause in it. Um... <laughs> question marks instead of exclamation points uh, but yeah we're gonna uh, we're, we're continuing our Mass Effect 2 playthrough we will be finishing the main story today we've got a couple things left to do um, at the end of the stream last night um, the collector once we installed the uh, Reaper IFF and got it installed uh, apparently there was a signal buried in the static as Edie said uh, there's a signal embedded in the static or something like that is what she said. Apparently, the Reaper IFF was broadcasting the Normandy's position. And the collectors came and kidnapped the entire crew. So, the collectors have the crew. We have to go get them. And then we get to go kick their asses <laughs> out of the galaxy. So, that is the plan for tonight. I don't think that's... I would be, no, there's no way it's going to take the entire four hours. Um, so what we'll probably do once we finish that and we'll get, we'll have the choice to, I think we get the choice to uh, immediately do a new game plus or um, it'll drop us back into the game to, you know, in case you want to do side missions or whatever resources, stuff like that upgrades, but we'll, we'll, we'll drop back into the game and we're going to start the Lair of the Shadow Broker DLC, which is most, most excellent. I don't think we'll be able to finish that tonight as well, but we'll see. So, How's it going, man? How's Saturday? Oh, and happy Sangria Saturday, by the way. This is all I have left of my current bottle. <laughs> I do have another one. I just need to get it into the fridge. And I was having problems earlier. It was a little sluggish. The game was a little sluggish, so I had to reboot. I had to reboot the laptop. I don't know why it does that. It's a great day. Any particular reason? Oh, yeah, and you notice when we're here. <laughs> and you see, you see, there's nobody here. All those people that we've seen making all these jaunts up to the front of the ship, like right there. There's nobody here. Joker is the only other person here other than the squad mates. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? You know, this is really nice. Edie took up the slack in every department. I could get used to this kind of help. It is not my intention to assume all of your responsibilities, Jeff. No, 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 I'm good. Just keep me updated. Quietly. Edie isn't a crutch. I want your eyes on everything. Eyes are easy, Commander. I got eyes covered. I believe covering your eyes would be counter to Shepard's intention. <laughs> Human intentions are tough to read, Edie. But keep trying. You'll get the hang of it. Joker. All right, all right. Woohoo, nice. Awesome. That's it for now. See you, Commander. See you, Commander. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I probably didn't make the wisest of decisions today when it was raining right around lunchtime today. I went out and got groceries. That was a bad idea. <laughs> it was a really bad idea. The groceries were all soaking wet. The inside of the car got soaking wet. So, yeah, I had to take a towel out to the car. I have leather seats in my Mini, and I had to go out with a towel and dry them all off. Okay. So, anyway. So, everything is ready to go. Um... Let's see, how much money do we have? We could possibly... Uh, where is... Oh, here it is right here. Um, 82,000. We could get another upgrade for something. I mean, we can afford... We can't afford everything that's left. There's like one, two, three, four, five... There's like five things left that we could potentially buy. Um... But we can only get one. We only have the cheapest one is fifty thousand. The most expensive one is seventy-five thousand. So even if we were to get one, we can only get one. Period. So I think we'll just go with what we have. I mean, we're not playing on insanity anyway, so it's not going to make. I don't think it's going to matter that much. So 
make sure the mouse is out of the way. Okay, yeah, Sea of Storms. This is where we were when we did um, Legion's loyalty mission last night. And that's when all hell broke loose. That's why, yeah, that's why you don't see anybody on the ship. They're all gone. <laughs> Go launch the suicide mission. <laughs> we have all the upgrades for the ship. We should be able to survive it. All right, here we go. Codex, the Omega-4 relay is surrounded by hazard beacons and automated warnings. Over the last thousand years, many ships have attempted to pass through it, but none have returned. The only ones to pass freely back and forth through the relay are the mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return from Omega-4. Some say there is a black hole at the far end. Others, mostly the impoverished underclass of Omega, believe there is some form of earthly paradise. Most, however, simply think that the collectors capture or destroy those passing through the relay. So, please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega 4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. One thing about the rescuing of the crew we saved that for the very last thing before we went to the relay for a very good reason is because if you do other things like other missions other loyalty missions recruitment missions side missions assignments whatever the more of those that you do between the time that the crew is captured and the time that you go through the relay crew members are going to die i mean i'm not talking about the squad mates i'm talking about people like uh, Kelly Chambers, for example, um, you know, the mess sergeant, those kinds of guys, so. The collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. <laughs> I'll see you guys in two hours. Bye. Real, It's real time from here on out. And if you're romancing somebody, it's gonna have it's gonna start happening here. And also notice the picture frame on Shepard's desk in her cabin or in her quarters. Hey. I brought wine. <laughs> Best I could afford on a vigilante salary. Mr. Vicarian, I presume. <laughs> if you were a Turian, I'd be complimenting your waist or your French, so your um, <laughs> hair. Almost seems like good. a teenager. And your waist is very supportive. Hopefully that's not offensive in human culture. I should have watched the fades. Wow, consider me seduced, smooth talker. Now shut up and stop worrying. I, I just... Uh, I've seen so many things go wrong, Shepard. My work at CSEC. What happened with Sidonis. I want something to go right. Just once. Just... <clears throat> Oh, 
Unfortunately, you don't get Shepherd, the nudity I wish I had more information with the non-human races. Like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't well, have you do with the Asari, I guess. <clears throat> I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. If we stick together, we'll make it. I knew we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. I'm going to destroy the Collectors, to stop their attacks on humanity. Understood. It's still impressive. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. A mega four relay. I wish they get that damn Let's helmet fixed. <clears throat> Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting. <laughs> Alright, Joker, do your Joker shit. Whew. Too close. He does. He absolutely does. All the ships that tried to make it through the Omega 4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. Has to be a collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. Good company. <clears throat> Careful, Jeff. We have company. Taking evasive maneuvers. They're just pissing me off. Needy. Take these bastards out. As long as the new plating holds. Want another round? Come on, girl. Let's give it to him. It is. Hey, misbehave. How's it going? How you feeling? gonna have to do this twice before we get to be on foot again um we'll go ahead and take our standbys i guess good <laughs> very wet it's been raining since before the sun came up <clears throat> okay uh Let's see, let's see, the, 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 the Inferno ammo, where's Legion, what's Legion got, AI hacking, shield boost, let's try Legion, let's do this, Legion and Zaid, alright, <laughs> they have exactly the same kind of weapons, which is alright. All 
Alright, it got me. Alright, so it got everybody too. Wow. It has Legion's attack drone from the last time. Attacking requested target. music man This one's up to Shepard. <laughs> Heavy weapons, my ass. <laughs> Locust for the win. <clears throat> With Inferno ammo. There it is. The collector base. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. Third time we've run into this same ship. <laughs> we got something for him this time. Fire the main gun. How do you like that, you sons of bitches? Getting close to <laughs> finish them off. Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> Joker, you okay? I 
think I broke a rib. <laughs> or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. Our primary objective is to destroy the station and stop the collectors at any cost. Well, then we're off to a good start. What's next? How long until the collectors find this landing zone? I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the collectors do not expect anyone to reach the base. Well, if we're lucky, their external sensors were hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. It's hard not to choke up for this part. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors, and that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. It's the central chamber. <clears throat> if our crew or any of the colonists are still alive, the Collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. It's not a fortress. There's got to be something. Here, maybe we can send someone in through this ventilation shaft. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? Typically two choices here. Either either, <clears throat> either Tally or Legion are good for this job. I think anybody else, even if they're loyal, if you pick anybody else for this task, they will die. I always pick Tally. We need someone with tech skills to hack that security system. Tally, you're up. I won't let you down. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Typically, for the leadership positions, you can take one of three people. You can take Miranda, you can take Jacob, or you can take Garrus. Um, usually, I take I take um, Miranda. Miranda's right. She should be in charge. I <clears throat> won't let you down, Shepard. I don't know what we're going to find in there, but I won't lie to you. It's not going to be easy. We've lost good people. We may lose more. We don't know how many the collectors have stolen. Thousands, hundreds of thousands. It's not important. What matters is this. Not one more. That's what we can do here today. It ends with us. They want to know what we're made of? I say we show them on our terms. Let's bring our people home. This first first part with the vents with Tally, it is it is timed. You you can't lollygag. <clears throat> She's got a you have to open a series of vents in the shafts. Uh, so that she can proceed to do what she needs to do. If I remember right, I can pretty much take anybody I want here. There's certain people for later on. You've got, we're going to have to do something similar to this again. <clears throat> um, hmm. I think I'm safe. I 
think I'm safe to take these two for now. But we will not, we will not be taking these two for the final part. We will not. And there's a reason for that, and I'll explain that later. position. Oh, yeah, see, <laughs> that's the second time that that's happened with him that I've died accidentally mounting over a barricade when I didn't mean to. Of course, I didn't realize Harbinger was going to take the guy right there by the wall either. I had forgotten you got to do all eight of them before that timer goes down. Wow. That's crazy. The gate is open. Moving forward. We've been spotted. <clears throat>
I'll see there she is right there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, maybe it's just getting I don't wow. It's been a while. Don't remember this much of a spike. Maybe I'm just artificially putting too much pressure on myself to push forward. Come on, Shepard. I'm being cooked 
cover you. Something's wrong. The door's stuck. Let me down. Shepard, you need to see this. Looks like one of the missing colonists. <clears throat> There's more over here. God, she's still alive. Kelly. Dr. Chocolate. Dr. Chuck was are you okay? Shepard, you you came for us. No one gets left behind. Thank God you got here in time. A few more seconds, and I don't even want to think about it. The colonists were processed. Those swarms of little robots, they melted their bodies into gray liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Why are they doing this? <coughs> what are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened to us. So are we. But we still have a job to do. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. What about biotics? Could we create a biotic field to keep them from getting near us? Yes. Bubble time. Possible. I wouldn't be able to protect everyone, but we might be able to get a small team through if they stayed close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? Typically, you want to. I mean, yeah, Miranda could do it in theory, but typically, you want to use either Jack or Samara. Either one of those are fine. Um. Let's do Jack. Jack and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? Second team. Alternate squad, Garrus. I usually pick Garrus for this one. We could pick, as I mentioned before, we could pick Jacob as well. I'll keep <clears throat> the defenders busy. You slip around the back. What about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? We're in no shape to fight. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. Typically, mo I think most people use Morden for this job. Um, as long as they're loyal. Um, who I think... If I remember right, whoever the specialist is that you pick here, they they will make it back to the ship. Now, if they're not loyal, my understanding is the crew members that they're escorting back to the ship will get killed. 
Um, but as long as they're loyal, they should make it back. Generally, people take Morden. Morden is probably the squishiest of all of the squad mates, so usually people take Morden. Joker, need location of landing zone. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. <sighs> all right, so obviously we don't have Morden anymore because he's the escort. Um... Could do probably do Grunt and Zaid again. This will be the last time that we use them. So they they are our heaviest hitters. This, this part's pretty cool. <laughs> she does not... She does her own thing here, whoever you pick. You have to make sure you stay within the bubble. You don't move the bubble forward. She does. The swarms are interfering with radio contact. You ready for this? ba da 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 Yes, let's move out. Let's go, Commander. You can survive Incoming. outside the bubble, but only fine. for a few seconds. Get hard to get. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Ready to move, Commander. Yeah. 
Typically what you want to try and do with Harbinger is kill everybody else so that way he doesn't have another body to move into. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Alright, let me check for ammo real quick just in case something got dropped. Here we go. Alright, Jack, let's do it. Let's go! part in this that's really hard on insanity and I think it might be this little section right here. I think they send some um oh god what the Could hell are they calling I can't think of them now. Scions. And abominations. Oh yeah, yep. Well, and Samara would be the same way as I mentioned earlier. I've never tried anybody other than those two. <clears throat> They've seen us. <laughs> They've seen us. We're on their ship. Garris, <laughs> you better not die on me. Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chakos and the rest of the crew just showed up. Morton's group just arrived, Shepard. No casualties. Oh, well, maybe Excellent. not. Excellent. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms. Medic! To the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. Hold on a second. 
It's in charge. A rear guard could defend this position and keep the collectors from overwhelming us. Pick a team to go with you, Shepard. Everyone else can bunker down here and cover your back. Okay. No, you didn't, <laughs> because I just looked at the site and it says in charge. <laughs> I'm telling you, go pull up the website and look at it. <laughs> look at it. I just pulled it up, I promise you. <clears throat> um, okay, so for this part, you want you want your combat specialists to be here to hold the door. Um, those are Garrus, those are Grunt, those are Zaid. So as I mentioned before, and I have tweaked a couple of the couple of the SFX so maybe what you have is an old copy Alien King because you guys have had some problems remembering which one is correct um, lately so I changed them to make them a little easier so that may be what's hanging you up okay but anyway so that's why we're not taking Grunt and Zaid at Why'd this you point put her in charge? Um, <clears throat> that's why we're not taking them so that they can stay back and defend the door while we do what we need to do from here on out. So this is where we need to pick our final two squad mates. Um, the, the very, very last time that I played this game, which was admittedly a few years ago, this was one of my insanity runs. I used Samara and Legion going forward, but I might change it up this time. Um, I think I'm gonna take Samara anyway. But I'm not sure if I want Legion or Thane. Because he has Warp. And she has Reeve. And biotic, biotic abilities, can, they can, if you combo them, they can detonate. And supposedly the Reeve and Warp combo can be quite nasty. So we're going to try. We're going to try Samara and Thane from here on out. I have never taken this combo before. I have never taken Thane for the last part of the game. So this will be new. All right, let's see. Thane, he has the Locust and the Sniper Rifle. Samara has the Locust. So we've got the three people with the best weapon in the game as far as I'm concerned. All right, battle rifle, sniper rifle, and I have whatever I need. So, let's see how it goes. I'm ready, Commander. As am I. Anything to say before we do this? The Collectors, the Reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything, everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. <laughs> It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down Grunt's to ready. this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. We'll do our best. Good luck, Shepard. <sighs> yeah, we've got these damn platforms again. Okay, let's do Reeve and oh no, that's not what we want. We want that and that. <laughs> okay. I didn't even take cover. <coughs> I let go of the trigger, so I ducked behind cover, and I hadn't taken cover. Oh, well. <laughs> the collectors win. <laughs> We're dead.
Yeah, I would suggest that you don't copy paste the website, just use the link. Because I reserve the right to change them whenever I please. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's another reason Shockwave is good. get the got to get the minions dead first like i said so the harbinger doesn't have anybody to go into when we were on the collector ship, right? Scion Shockwave can't reach me back here. What's up, Gosh? You got here at the right time, my friend. Alright, well, I guess that's it for ammo. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. You too? It's very, very soggy here today. This is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non-organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. Shepard, if my calculations are correct, the superstructure not just any reaper. Human reaper. Precisely. It appears the collectors have processed tens of thousands of humans. Significantly more will be required to complete the reaper. Yes. <laughs> It's just going to let us stand here and have this conversation. What do the collectors gain by turning humans into this reaper shell? They may be facilitating the reaper equivalent of reproduction. Or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability <coughs> need 
needed to create this Reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each Reaper. In this case, the Collectors provide the labor. The Collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the, the Reapers? Reapers subdued the Protheans long ago. Probabilities suggest they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers, tools for the Reapers. What do the Collectors gain by turning humans into this Reaper shell? They may be facilitating the Reaper equivalent of reproduction, or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the Collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this Reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each Oh, did Reaper. I already did that? In this case, the Collectors provide the labor. How many more humans do you think they'd try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. An embryo in human terms. <clears throat> so it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being created? The process can Hatched. be stopped, but it is Born. unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy the it? Large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. You gotta take care of some old friends first. Enemies incoming. All right. <clears throat> oh. Nothing stands against oh. us. Another good thing about the locust, you take out two tubes each time. <laughs> yard envy? <laughs> Is yard envy a thing? <laughs> oh, really? You guys can't get him? I'm trying to save my ammo for the tubes. realize I didn't, I didn't get a single save during all of this. Shepard's ground team, status report. <clears throat> Jack here. I'm tagging him as they come. But feel free to call for an exit any time. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's patching it through. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I was part of a team. Some of them gave their lives for this mission. I know. Their sacrifice will not be forgotten. You did what you had to do, <coughs> and you acquired the collector base. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. <laughs> this is our chance, Shepard. 
They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. They liquefied people. Turned them into something horrible. We have turned to destroy them into the base. Goo. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. They were working directly with the Collectors. <clears throat> Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own Reaper. <laughs> My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers at any cost. I've never he is right that about that. You. Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. <laughs> Smart is so freaking out back there. I can't the believe this man wants us to bring his base back. <laughs> There's no choice here, right? <laughs> really? I mean, we came all the way here to do this. <laughs> We're going to do it. We'll fight and win without <clears throat> it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Shepard. Think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for you. You... Let's move. We got ten minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart. out for that beam in its chest because that thing is nasty. anything at all. Oh yeah, it actually does a pretty decent amount. I see ammo up there. Well, you know, it's funny, that's... A lot of people didn't like this part because... It was kind of cheap. The whole Terminator baby thing. to hit me from the side. Asshole. So 
going home. Yes, What is, do you misbehave, I couldn't remember it the other night, do you not remember what the name that uh, Tally gives her throne? I keep wanting to say Chiquita, but I know that's right. That's a banana. First time you play this game and you get to this part right here, <laughs> you are on pins and needles. Because you can still lose a squad mate here. Come on, Thane, get up, get up.
What a great way to end it and we get everybody involved, potentially. <clears throat> Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Getting a lot of bullshit on this line. Don't try my patience. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I'm not looking for your approval. Harbinger's coming and he won't be alone. Humanity needs a leader who's looking out for them. From now on, I'm doing things my way, whether you agree or not. Don't turn your back on me, Shepard. I made you. I brought you back from the dead. <laughs> Joker, lose this channel. <laughs> that just never gets old. <clears throat> You know, Martin Sheen did a fantastic job, too, as the elusive man. Oh, beat this shit. <laughs> Holes in it. Mass Effect 1 music here. If people die in your playthrough, you have coffins here. Winter is coming. <laughs> That's it. That is it. Man, why did I wait so long to play this game again? Why? <laughs> I don't understand. I may have to put this on the schedule a little bit more often than this. And probably five years, probably. Way too long. Way, way, way too long. You can recognize any of these names. Maybe folks that moved on to bigger and better things. I mean, 
you guys know that this is my favorite game ever. But, and you can be completely honest here, um, for those of you that had never seen it before, what did you think? And there are some things that we can still do. Um, I think there may be a few side missions or assignments left to do. No, it never gets old. Never gets old. I mean, yeah, the whole Terminator Reaper baby thing at the end. You know, it, it didn't <laughs> it didn't bother me at all at the time. I, it still doesn't bother me. Aaron Flynn. Recognize that. <coughs> I don't remember what... It's been a while since I've looked. I, I wouldn't think it would... It would have changed much over the years. Let's see what the, uh, the Metacritic is for it. Ninety-four. Ninety-four on PC, ninety-six on Xbox 360, ninety-four on PS3, so... Almost a ninety-five. There are the Doctors, Ray and Greg. There's the voice actors, too. Claudia Black. music, man. Mass Effect 1 was a 91. Mass Effect 3 is a 93. And, <laughs> and then there's Andromeda in the 70s. As I mentioned, we're, we'll let the, as we normally do, we'll let the credits run, and uh, once we're done with that, it, will, it should give us the choice to do a new game plus or dump us back into the free roam, as it were. We're still going to start um, Lair of the Shadow Room. Well, that was actually going to be one of my questions when we finished... Um, Lair of the Shadow Broker and the Arrival DLC. Um, the Arrival DLC is going to be last. The reason for that is it's kind of a setup, if you will, for Mass Effect 3. And that was going to be my question, is, is what would you guys rather we do? Would you rather we go straight into Mass Effect 3, which I think is what Misbehave did, or do we want to, you know, take a break from it, play something else, and then come back to it after that? So, I know what my vote is, but, you know, I, I will take your comments into consideration. My vote, my vote should be obvious. It's like, let's push forward. You know, let's do it. <laughs> some Kansas. Some old school. Wow, no music. That's interesting. Yeah, but that'll probably be... If I remember correctly, Shadow Broker is somewhere between maybe two and three hours. Arrival is a little bit shorter than that, maybe two hours. So I'm thinking between what we've got left tonight, which is two and a half hours, and tomorrow we'll be able to have Mass Effect 2 done. I don't know if we'll have time to start 3. I mean, I won't start three unless we've got at least an hour so that we can do 
we can get it all set up and get you know get it going get the character transferred over and that kind of thing or imported i guess it should be a lot easier to import from two into three than it was going from one to two so you know my gamble Wow. And and speaking of Mass Effect 3, I did. I did. That's that was kind of sad, you know. I he's he's a Hall of Famer in my book. Um just an outstanding player, leader, even though quiet quiet guy. Um, so he'll, he'll get in. He, he should get in first ballot, but that, I don't know that that necessarily matters. As long as you get in, it doesn't matter when. I don't remember, I don't remember if I saw the, the press conference or not. I'll have to go back and see if I can find it. All the Bioware team. Overlord, we did Overlord. That was that was excellent as well. Well, you know, it's every team has their ups and downs. You know, even the Yankees, even the Red Sox, even the Dodgers. You know, they all do. It's just it's a cyc cyclic thing, cyclical. You know, we, we went through our pain, you know, and now we're starting to come back. So that obviously makes me happy, especially now that we got we got uh, Donaldson for, for third base. I think that I think that'll work out pretty well. I mean, even if it doesn't, it's only a one year contract. So no big deal. I think it's a win win either way. Shadow Broker. One thing about Shadow Broker, we did not get Liara as a squad mate in Mass Effect 2. We will get her as a squad mate in the Shadow Broker DLC. <coughs> wow, how long are these credits? Oh, and I was going to mention... Um, when uh <laughs> yeah we um you're not going to see the original mass effect 3 ending when we get to that point um whether it's EA's fault for pushing the game out before it was finished or whatever um a lot of people were not happy at all with the ending of Mass Effect 3, but they came back later and did a, uh, I think they called it the extended cut and kind of added to that and redid some things and stuff and it made it a lot better. So you guys will get to see what is probably a much closer to what the original ending was supposed to be than what those of us early adopters got when it originally came out. And, and even the original ending didn't bother me that much. It was a video game for crying out loud. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Nobody, nobody does credits like Ubisoft. You have stopped. <laughs> you know, they give credit to the trash guy and the guy that brings in the water. You have stopped the collectors from creating a human reaper. You now have two choices. Continue the game, complete unfinished missions, develop relationships, play downloaded content, and explore the galaxy for anything you missed. Import Shepard. Start a new game with this character at your current level. We are at the level cap. We just hit it right there when we got to the last boss. Start a new game with this character at your current level with your current weapons, as well as bonus starting credits and resources. Oh god, I don't need any resources. Unless they zero them out. Um, so yeah, we're going to continue. And 
and you notice, I, I was going to mention this earlier, you notice up until the very end of the game, Caden's picture was right there on the desk because that's who she romanced in the first game. But because we romanced Garrus this time, you notice the picture has been folded down onto the desk. Okay. Let's go back to the CIC. We get to see all of our squad issues. But what I'm going to do is when, when we get back there, I'm going to get a save. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. And we're going to go ahead and take an early break. This is a good stopping point for that. See, look at that. You got no saves during the final mission. <laughs> Oops. And then we'll pick up and go back to Ilium and talk to, uh, we'll talk to Liar and get Shadow Broker started. So, yeah, let me do that and I'll be back and we'll continue. Sit tight. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're some real pretty shit now, man.
Okay. I'm actually kind of I was checking the score of the SEC championship game. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I actually came back early. That's okay. Um, checking the score of the Alabama-Georgia game. Georgia's actually winning. It's almost halftime. Okay. Let's do some DLC. Let's see. We've got some points here. We've got two. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. I mean, I, I don't expect Georgia to win. I obviously would like them to win because that's who I root for, even though I don't follow college football as much as I used to. I used to be pretty rabid about it, but not so much anymore. Unread messages. Did she not just tell us we had a message? You came for us. I knew you would. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm holding up. I just can't get the memories out of my head. Trapped. Suffocating. It's oozing into every pore. Faint sobs echoing the confined space. But I, I can't dwell on it. I'm okay now. I'm alive. Back to the old Kelly. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? I mean, some of the coaches and stuff, coordinators probably do, but the players don't. Players can't. Do you have a moment to talk? They have to focus I on the next game. I for you, Commander. I better go. They would okay. be distracted. Maybe we'll talk later. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk later. Oh, hey, we've got the crew back. Oh, I'm sure everybody... Um... And see our favorite blue person. Okay, who do we want to take? I don't know that it really matters. I mean, we could go back to back to our old our old favorites. I mean, really, the main reason I'm still taking Zaid with us everywhere we go is so that we can get some more spicy comments from him. <laughs> We're not here for you, jackass. <laughs> no, that's Rex. <laughs> no, that was, um, uh, Zaid said that to Okir when we were standing there next to the tank and we were getting ready to get grunt. <clears throat> he was, he, Zaid was talking to Okir when he said that. Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? Let's go. I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. Hey, Mocha, how's it going? Welcome. You got here just in time. We just finished the main story. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about no, about ten minutes ago. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So, you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, 
I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. I didn't know how you'd feel when Cerberus restored you. If you'd feel betrayed, or... They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. Awesome. Okay. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. <laughs> no further data. Fine. Speaking of the water boy, water cooler right there. Uh, you can't you can't romance Liara in Mass Effect 2 because she's not a squad mate. Ilium is the gateway to the traverse, but is that gate open too wide? Um, if you if you romance her in the first game, yeah, I mean she's always going to be here. That's just part of the story. Trust me, the goods coming in from the terminus systems are great for business. Okay, listen, give Fax a full refund, do you hear me? He knows, I don't know how, it doesn't matter. Credit him a full refund now, and then get your ass someplace safe. <laughs> get your ass someplace safe. Wow, that's fast service right there. Of course it's automated. Seal off those trace samples and get them back to the lab. We got multiple shots fired. Yeah, techs are going over the place now. Central, we got an open carrier on this end. Switching to a coded relay. What's going on? This area is sealed off. Please step back, ma'am. Sealed off? Why? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Thank you, officer. Your people are dismissed. You can't do that. Already done. <clears throat> Tila Vasir, Special Tactics and Recon. A Spectre? I heard your status was reinstated. Good. You're one of our most famous operatives. Might even get you to sign my chest plate. So, I assume you had business with your friend this evening, Commander. Liara was following a lead on the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Dangerous enemy to have. What are the facts so far? About 25 minutes ago, someone took a shot at Tissoni. Note the bullet holes. She stuck around for almost four minutes before leaving the building. Whatever she was doing was important. 
Liara isn't here, where is she? If I knew that, I wouldn't be sifting through her crap. There's no blood, no body. It looks like Tassoni got away. The sniper didn't plan on her kinetic barrier. Clever girl. Paranoid, but clever. Did the police find anything when they arrived? Just the mess and the bullet holes. I gave them a gold star for finding the bullet holes. Liara was expecting me. She would have left a message here. Her office wasn't safe. I'm not surprised. Helium <clears throat> is just Omega with expensive shoes. <laughs> I haven't found anything what a useful great quote. for tracking her down yet. <laughs> you knew Tassoni better than I do. Where would she have hidden her backups? Let me take a look around. This looks like Ilos. It's Ilos. Yeah. <laughs> the rifle used to do that wasn't standard issue. The kinetic barrier deflected the shots, but they still managed to penetrate the glass. Looks like someone didn't like you much either. So Legion's got the other half, <laughs> looks like. <laughs> Put the old suit back together. <clears throat> Alright, come on. A doctorate from the University of Ceres, back on Bessia. She's getting good. Ceres Ice Brandy. picture changed when you touched it. It must be keyed to your ID. What does it show now? It's a Prothean dig site. Liara did leave a message. There are a few Prothean looking objects around the apartment. Let's see what we can find. Those things must be worth a fortune. Yeah, I was going to say earlier, this is an awfully big place for just one person. <clears throat> Basir, I've got something here. Backup disc. Let's try it on her terminal. Like a grenade. It looks like she recorded a call. What have you got for me, Sakat? It was tricky, but you paid for the best. I can narrow it down to a cluster, maybe even a system. How soon can you have it? Shouldn't take long. Come to my office. Area Frontiers in the Dracon Trade Center. Gotta say, though, to Sony, you're making me a little nervous. How big is the trouble that could come out of this? Relax, Sakat. I'll see you in a few hours. This must be important. The Shadow Brokers people already tried to kill her once. I know where the Dracon Trade Center is. My car's outside. Let's go. The Barry of Frontiers offices are located on the third floor. I don't hear police chatter. We must have missed the party. Liara's in there! There. Now it's getting fun. <laughs> grunt being grunt. <laughs> they just took out three floors to make sure she's dead. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. I'll start down here and work my way up. Just leave some for me.
What happened? Uh, <laughs> bomb. Who are you? What's going on? Was it a bomb? What happened? Oh God! What's happening? Vasir, the elevators are out and building security is down. No alarms, no police. Very professional. A frontier employee. Looks like he got caught in the explosion. I wouldn't take any bets on Sony's informant surviving that blast. This DLC. But it's integrated into, obviously, it's integrated into, you know, into the main game so you can kick it off at any time you want. Because it's been there ever since, you know, I don't remember what, maybe the halfway point of the story when we went to Ilium for the first time. <clears throat> Yes. There's nothing preventing us, or there was nothing preventing us from doing it earlier. It, and it's the same with Arrival. Uh, it just makes more sense to do it after the story than during the story. Casualty here. Looks like he's got bullet wounds. Watch yourself, Vizier. They used military-grade hardware. Bullet wounds? Guess this was more than just an explosion. Life isn't about arriving. It's about the ride along the way. At Nizo, every wow, how many did I use? Oh, just two. Open door over there. ATM over there. Wow, sixty two fifty. I'm going to be a millionaire again after the DLC is over. Shipping is the leading industry authority on resource to logistics and management. Here. I found a military grade explosive device. It hasn't been armed. Sloppy work. You use that kind of hardware when you don't have time to plan. Vizier, I'm at the Barrier Frontiers office. Liara signed in just a few minutes ago. Understood. want some
That's another good thing about Shockwave. <laughs> It'll get people out of cover. Job, Saeed. Can't target them. Nothing can hurt me. Can't reach the target. Pipes are on fire. They're blocking the stairs. Look for a switch. Got it. Should be clear now. Good. I'm on my way down. <laughs> that I still had left that I could buy. Yeah. It's 
one of the ones left on Tuchanka. If we choose to get it. <coughs> These guys almost look like Cerberus. Seconds faster, I could have stopped them. Is this Sakat? Must have been. No sign of that data Liara talked about. Looks like a dead end. Mm. Speaking of which, did you find your friend's body? You mean this body? Liara, this is Vizier. She's a specter. This is the woman who tried to kill me. You've had a rough day, so I'll let that slide. Why don't you put that gun down? I saw you. I doubled back after I left. I watched you break into my apartment. You didn't know where Liara went because she hid the message. You needed me to find it for you. Thanks for the help. Once she had my location, she signaled the Shadow Broker's forces. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Zakat took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she's still got the disc on her. Good guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. You pure blood bitch! Get out of my way. Like, please. Forgotten how good the music is in the DLC too. This is good stuff.
Call in the reinforcements. Oh no, she's just jumping off. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Who do we take with us? We want to take Grunt or we want to take Zaid? Liara is going to be with us for the remainder. <laughs> I am Krogan! <laughs> that, uh, that visual effect for the fortification for him looks pretty cool. It almost looks like, uh, I guess, barrier for... Um... For biotics, just not as... It looks like an oven mitt. There she is. I'm right. No wait left. I'm on her. <laughs> I know left. She's around the corner. We're not going into the construction site, are we? Oh, goddess. I'm not letting her escape with that data. Go, 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 go! I'm going! <laughs> traffic! Oncoming traffic! We'll be fine. She's dropping proximity charges. I noticed. She's got reinforcements. What kind of guns does this thing have? It's a taxi. It has <laughs> a fair meter. Fair meter. Wonderful. <laughs> Truck. I know. Truck. I know. <laughs> There we go. You're enjoying this. I had on collision with this way. Yeah, I hear those coming back. Truck! Again? Watch out. Whoopsies. Vizier's car. Come on, she can't have gotten far. Watch out. They're dropping reinforcements in to slow us down. They've blocked the door. Nothing can hurt me. You get a bullet, and you get a bullet, no, everybody gets a bullet! Oh, crap. She probably has no points assigned to her right now.
Ah, there he is. Over to get to Vizier's car. All right. <laughs> she did good for having only one skill point assigned. <laughs> Not bad, girl. <laughs> All right, it's the ability evolution here. We can choose one of these two. Spends time developing her biotic abilities, further reducing the recharge time of her powers. Yeah, this is one of those I was talking about the other night. Essentially swapping the values for the two at the bottom. Kind of weird that hmm, the level cap is 30 and you still can't have enough to get. I don't know if, well, actually, is it. Did they raise it? I know there's an achievement for getting to level 30, and I think that was the original level cap. Of course, and I would need to have a bazillion, bazillion points to get all of mine. Okay. I think she, I think she's going over there. That door. Take a look for ammo. Any cash? hotel is this? Azure. It's a luxury resort with an exotic, <laughs> exotic edge. edge. Azure is slang for a part of the Asari body in some areas of Ilium. Where? Mainly the lower reaches, near the bottom. I meant where on the Asari <laughs> body. So oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're unharmed. We didn't see anything. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh wow, we have to have to bypass this one. Shepherd, petty thief. Blood trail. Vizier got hurt in the crash. That should slow her down. Oh, it's this. Tough, I'll give her that much. She's a specter. Why is it that, like, we've seen three specters in this game and two of them went bad? Guess what we got coming up, guys? <laughs> they don't telegraph that much, do they? Of course, you actually have to know that it's in this room. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I will. Because we have a door coming up. I usually say before I open doors. <laughs> Thank you. This can be a tough fight, too. people that you want to live. Please. We'll get you out of here safely, Mariana. Well, that's good to hear. All you had to do was walk away. Now it gets ugly. Please, I have a son. A son? I hope he gets to see you again. I've heard losing a parent is just horrific for children. It scars them for life. I'm going to end you. Vizier. It's okay, Liara. We'll handle it the usual way. You want <laughs> From whose perspective? <laughs> I wonder what Lola would do. Thermal clips on the ground now. <laughs> Power cells too. Is that <clears throat> it? What? Vizier, I sacrificed hundreds of human lives to save the Destiny Ascension. I unleashed the Rachni on the galaxy. So for your sake, I hope your escape plan doesn't hinge on me hesitating to shoot a damn hostage. <laughs> now, Liara. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's right. She's got this. She's got this ability. Down. Oh, right. 
I was saying it's this is this is a tough this is a tough fight here. Got the target. Miss me? I guess is that I guess that's charge right she's just using charge I guess I just never really realized because I never used it that's what it actually is she's using it to get out of the way can't reach the target watch out shockwave Cover. Yeah, the knock. The, when you get knocked back, you get knocked back. I mean, I'm sitting there pressing the button like a madman to get back in cover when she's doing the whole, you know, get knocked back thing. This can't be happening, man. This isn't happening. Crap. And of course it froze up. Shit. Lovely, lovely. Now the question becomes, where did we get saved? I don't remember if you have to do the whole thing in one go. I don't remember getting an option or having the opportunity to save. <clears throat> oh, 
28 to 14. You get a bullet, and you get a bullet, everybody gets a bullet! Yeah, in case you don't know who that is, that's, uh, that's Axton. That's one of the characters in Borderlands 2. Miss me? Oh, good. Cool. I want her recharge time, please. About every two seconds she can do that. I was supposed to. I thought I had turned off those origin notifications. Found a target. interesting. I guess you don't, you can't, you can't charge through a shockwave. Feel to be normal, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, damn it! Damn it! Get that barrier and that armor off of you. It's the cat's personal data pad. This has what we need to find the shadow broker. Your debt. The shadow broker has been in power for decades. He's stronger than anything you've ever faced. Is that why you sold out the council to work for him? You think I betrayed the council? Like Saren? Go to hell. The broker's given me damn good intel over the years. Intel that saved lives and kept the Citadel safe. So if the broker needs a few people to disappear, I'll pay that price without hesitation. Sp 
specters don't blow up buildings filled with innocent people. Sure we do. We get our hands dirty so the council mm, well, doesn't have Well, maybe to. Lola does. Counselors <laughs> might complain about our methods. Sarah does not. Consciences, but they never look too closely. Besides, you're with Cerberus. You have any idea what your terrorist friends have done? Well, actually, I know I who do. they are and what they've done. It doesn't matter. I think it does. You <clears> want to <throat> judge me? Look in the mirror. Kidnapping kids for biotic death camps. Hell, your own unit on a coos. And you're with them. Don't you dare judge me. Oh. Don't you? <clears throat> no tears were shed. A limited to Sony and retrieve the data. Civilian casualties not a concern. Vizier's dead. I'm putting the data through to the Normandy's computers. We can be at the Shadow Broker's base in a few hours. He'll know about Vizier before long. If he decides to kill Fizier. We'll get Baron out of there alive, Liara. I promise. I know. You're here to help. <laughs> Just like always. That's not a good thing. When we first met on Therum, you saved me from the Geth. You fought a Krogan Battlemaster while I cowered. Now you're doing it again. And I'm still leaning on you for help. That's what friends do, Liara. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I love that data. outfit she has. The Normandy stealth drive will <clears throat> keep them from detecting us. The Shadow Brokers agents are still shooting their way through Ilium. With luck, they won't notice we've left until it's too late. What's the plan when we get ah! there? Get Didn't in, have get my hand on the controller. Out and kill anyone who tries to stop us. That's it? That's it. Sounds like a plan. Damn. I should move my... <laughs> I should move my thing over there. It's not quite as obvious when I get those. Oh, foodstuffs! Foodstuffs. Yeah, it's like I haven't eaten since um, one one o'clock. So I'm yeah, I'm starting to get a little hungry here. I will be chowing down when I'm done tonight, for sure. Okay. Do we want to get our usual boys back? Right on your ass. Okay, Grunt seems to be the crowd favorite, so we'll we'll take. Oh, that's right, we still have her. We'll take we'll take Grunt for the rest of it when we have the choice. His ship follows the sunset, completely undetectable in the storm, unless you know where to look. How do we get inside? The shuttle bay is locked down. We'll need to land on the ship and hunt for a hatch. <laughs> this is the best part of the whole DLC right here. But we can't stay outside for long. There's a constant lightning storm where the hot and cold air collide. We're going to be in combat on the outside of this ship, flying through an electrical storm. It's hard to pinpoint in this lightning, but I'm picking up signals from a communications array near the back of the ship. There's nothing below but maintenance equipment. We have to find an entrance near the back shielding. Maintenance drones. 
Why are they attacking? They must think we're debris from the storm. <laughs> <laughs> use pull on Watch the outside of the ship that. here. A lot of times once you get them up off of the surface of the ship, they just be blown off like that guy right there. Good man, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. You streaming at seven or six your time? Actually, I need to hold on a minute. I need to test something in my bot. Let me get it started up. Hopefully, it'll it'll pick up when you go live. You won't see it because it's going to the private channel, but. Let me fire that up real quick. All right. All right. Do that. Hopefully, it won't it won't choke any of the resources for. Excuse me for OBS. Do that. crossed. Thank you. 
down was clearly a mistake. <laughs> They've seen us. Oh, bye. See you later. Oh, and he got hit by lightning. for them. It's gotta be pretty awesome to, <laughs> to play a Krogan. The voice of Krogan.
on a target. guys basically live and work on the ship but get there dumb enough to walk right next to those capacitors knowing what they're for and what they can do. I'm on the target. Right. I'm with you. Agents love patrolling the hall. At least the view is nice. There, that hatch leads directly to the communication signals. Yeah, this part, yeah, this can be pretty tough. Another tough spot. <clears throat> Defend the door. Hang on, I've got a bypass shunt program that can crack it. But it's gonna take some time. How long will it take? I don't know, Shepard. I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's <laughs> base before. Well, not this one, anyway. Nothing can hurt me! You sure that shunt is working? It's illegal, even on Ilios. It didn't come with a warranty. But you tested it, right? Here come more of them. Tell me you tested it. No time to talk. <laughs> Too late. Now you're Wow. You go. Bye bye. Shield your eyes.
We've got a crow here. Just like a 
Thanks, Shepard. way for some ammo in case anybody dropped it. Not that we really have to worry about it. Very few times have we gotten low on ammo. Game drops enough for you. Even I've though technically they call them layout. thermal clips. We're headed toward the prison block. And Farron. Engage and neutralize. Marching the Pretty sure that's Ferris right there. Oh, Farin. Sorry. Liara? Hold on. We're getting you out of here. No. Farin. What the hell is the broker trying to do to you? The equipment is sensitive to tampering. This chair plugs into the broker's info network. You have to shut off the power. Pull me out now and my brain cooks. Do you know where we can cut the power? It won't be easy. You'll have to go to central operations. What's the point of this cage? I don't... It's a neural grounding rod. The medical equipment is to make sure he doesn't expire. We have to shut this place down. Where did the broker get <clears throat> the mercs? Raised his own private force. They're completely loyal. Uh, uh, uh. Shepard, we really don't have the time. What do you know about the broker? He did this to me. Easy or not, we're all getting out of here. Good. Central Operations is down the hall. You know the Shadow Broker's waiting for you, right? I'm counting on it. We'll be back for you, Farron. I'll try not to go anywhere. <laughs> I want to Get an LOS. Paint the marks. Watch out, all flash bangs!
think it's this is the fight just yet. I think we've got more to do. Maybe not. Exactly subtle. Extreme, but necessary. No, it wasn't. Neither was caging Ferrin for two years. Dr. Tassoni, your interference caused all this. Ferrin betrayed me when he handed you Shepard's body. The Drell is simply paying the price. Someone was bound to come after you for working with the Collectors. It was a mutually beneficial partnership. Fortunately, Ouch. the Normandy's IFF will let me salvage the remains of the Collector's base. Be smart. Let Baron walk out with us. You won't be walking out at all. You're quite confident for someone with nowhere left to hide. You travel with fascinating companions, Doctor. Thank you for bringing me Okir's project to Sony. His dissection will be interesting. You're not putting a hand on anyone. It's pointless to challenge me, Asari. I know your every secret while you fumble in the dark. Is that right? You're a Yogg, a pre space flight species quarantined to their homeworld from massacring the Council's first contact teams. This base is older than your planet's discovery, which probably means you killed the original Shadow Broker 60 years ago, then took over. I'm guessing you were taken from your world by a trophy hunter. Who wanted a slave? Or a pet? How am I doing? <laughs> I think she's probably right. <laughs> she just pissed him off. <clears throat> That's right, we don't have... Singularity is not going to be a whole lot of good here. Kinetically sensitive. Energy and projectiles are bouncing off. Then we do this the hard way.
Oh shit! Oh, oh man, I got stuck right there at that damn corner. Ugh. Shit. That little pipe right there at the at the corner. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Wasted.
Procedures. I want a status report on all operations from the events of Silver Day. Shadow Broker, out. Goddess of Oceans, it's you. You. How? Well, everyone who's ever seen him in person is dead. So. You're the new Shadow Broker. <laughs> Is taking over as the Shadow Broker really a good idea? It was either that or lose everything. His contacts, his trading sources, those will really help us. With the Shadow Broker's information network, I can... I can give you... I can... I'll check the power systems. Beep boop. information are we talking about I'm not sure I'll need to go through his files come back later and I'll try to have something useful for you all I wanted was to rescue Farron but is it wrong that part of me wants this with the shadow brokers network I can help you maybe I can turn this operation into something better don't be a stranger this time come by when you have a chance the doors are always open the Shadow Broker. Eliminate Cerberus information leaks as the Yara takes over. The Asari's relationship with Shepard should be watched <laughs> closely. Remember, this is still coming from Cerberus. Heavy pistol damage. Damage upgrade. A hundred thousand credits for just doing that. <laughs> There's still a lot more that we can do down there. We don't have to go back to the Normandy yet. I'll play around with the settings later. 
My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. Excuse me. Dossiers. Oh, this is, I guess this is all the information, well, <laughs> the information that he, he had on all the squad me members. Miranda, Cerberus officer, efficient, ruthless, obsessed with human dominance, possible recruitment candidate after elusive man's assassination and destruction of Cerberus. Dr. Morden Solis, professor previously attached to Solarian Special Task Group, Impressive credentials, modifications to genophage re-established, 99.9% .9 death rate among Krogan births. Current work with Shepard, obviously, obvious atonement attempt. Jacob Taylor, ex-Alliance soldier, biotic training, despite solid service history, clearly placed on Shepard's team primarily for stabilizing elements of personality. Jack, abnormal biotic powers. Archived combat footage compares favorably with Pragia, Pragia facilities expected results. Easily manipulated through emotional impairment created by severe abuse and confinement during childhood. As we went through all of that stuff on her, on her loyalty mission. Zaid Masani, Blue Suns founder. Lost leadership of Suns through lack of interpersonal <laughs> skills and political judgment. High mission success rate even after near-death experience has completed several missions offered by agents involvement with of the Shadow Broker in these missions withheld. Legion Geth's present presence confirms suspected Geth heretic orthodox split and vulnerability of Geth platforms to reprogramming. Forward the results of Cerberus' Operation Overlord directly to Shadow Broker once contact with our agent has been re-established. Garrus Vakarian, former CSEC officer, exceptional tactical and team building skills, leadership potential overshadowed by Shepard, likely to de fully develop under Shepard's command. Unlikely, sorry. Justicar Samara, oh, sorry, Justicar, rigidity of Justicar code, makes her movements and mission outcomes predictable. Mother to three are dot Yakshi, one of which remains wanted for murder in Citadel space. That's odd, because we she killed Morinth. Talibas Normandy, mechanic and engineer, typical quarian investment in species' future instead of personal advancement. Father's work useful in widening tensions between Geth and Quarian races. Kasumi Goto. Skilled break and enter specialist, sentimental, impulsive risk taker. Investigate lover's death and connection to Alliance Alliance scandal. Thane Krios, Drell Assassin. Achieved top ranks in Henar training programs responsible for one hour massacre on Omega. Advanced Keppel Syndrome makes neutralization a low priority. <laughs> Grunt, our favorite baby Krogan. Okir's Vatbred prototype. Threat to continuation of genophage likely minimal, but leak knowledge and location of perfect Krogan to Slurian Special Tasks group. Cerberus, Rogue Agency for Advancement of Humanity. Founded in 2157, active in both Citadel and Terminus space. Strong. Who? Is who still going to die? Strong hum... Um, I don't know. <laughs> Stay tuned. Strong human supremacist overtones classified as a hum terrorist threat by both Systems Alliance and Citadel Council. The loss of credits due to the elusive man's direct interference in recovery of Commander Shepard's body has been offset by data gathered from the Lazarus Project. Withhold retaliation until Shepard's long-term functionality is confirmed. One year post-resurrection. Captain Bailey has an entry. 
CSEC captain, survivor of Reaper attack on Citadel, prefers dealing with Shakira Ward's criminal element off the record. Ample blackmail material. Arya Talok, de facto leader of Omega, three centuries of commando experience, aloof, paranoid, excellent organizational and management skills. Captain Anderson. Captain David Anderson is a rejected Spectre candidate. Close working relationship with Commander Shepard before destruction of the Normandy SR-1. Monitor communications for renewed contact with Shepard. Admiral Stephen Hackett. Commanding officer of the Alliance Navy's 5th Fleet. Worked with Commander Shepard before destruction of the Normandy SR-1. A deep cover operative is scheduled to replace his current aide in two months. Shadow Broker classified. What's the check? Oh, there's more. Oh my goodness. I'm not I'm not gonna go through all of these. There is oh my good wow, look at all this. All this extra stuff. STG reports, transcripts, military correspondence, personal correspondence, Jack, extranet log, <laughs> what she searched for, private messages, intercepted message transmission, dear Jacqueline Knott, thank you for your submission to Galactic <laughs> Jacqueline Knott. Submission to Gallic Galactic Poetry Monthly. We regret that we were unable to use your submission at this time. Galactic Poetry Monthly generally focuses on metered verse. <laughs> you may wish to check our guidelines before submitting again. Sincerely, Megan McCarran, Submissions Editor, text of your submission. Oh boy, this ought to be fun. My soul burns with a fire of darkness, quenched only in pain. In the pain of loneliness, I hold my breath waiting until spots appear black as the past and fill my lungs with lies of hope. I mark myself black and jagged to cover the scars that make me a monster. A warning, this is not a place of honor. No esteemed dead are buried here. <laughs> More logs and transcripts. Gamer profile. <laughs> A gamer profile for Infiltrator N7. Garrus. Private message. Before the Omega Jump kill list. Visor specs. Oh, nice. Kuwashi frame. Yeah, there's some videos and stuff in here too that I want to. How much time we got? About 20 minutes. There's a lot more in here. Investment opportunities. Ah. Warning signal. A pirate fleet is amassing is massing on the fringes of the terminus. Systems in preparation for a raid on outlying Alliance colonies send a tip-off to Admiral Hackett about the incoming invasion. Bureatic in action. The Citra, Serta, sorry, Foundation can't start tests on a promising new antibiotic because of accidentally misfiled paperwork. Use your contacts to help them cut through the red tape so they can begin clinical trials. I don't know if these actually, maybe these, you'll see the results of these maybe in three, I don't remember. Smear campaign. A corrupt politician is trying to levy heavy taxes on all earth manufactured goods coming into his system in exchange for kickbacks from local businesses. Run the politician's reputation with a smear campaign so that his proposal doesn't pass. 
These are all pretty cheap, actually, all things considered. Just reward. Eclipse mercenaries have secretly set up a red sand production facility on the planet Cuervo. Jose! Tip off the planetary authorities about the facility in exchange for half of the credits seized during their raid. This is the Turian Council members mistress has made some unusual purchases lately. Yeah, where I can pick the same thing I can do on the Normandy, I can pick mansion. one of their loyalty skills as an additional skill for me. Oh, nice. Survey information. The location of a planet rich with Ezo is available for purchase. Not that we, <laughs> not that I need it. Iridium Mining Company, same thing for Iridium, Palladium, and Platinum, it looks like. I don't even know why I'm doing these. I don't need the resources. Is that it? Research terminal weapon upgrades, we'll do that. Because we do still have the arrival DLC to do. Come in handy. Like that. Customize the gear. I don't think we got any gear. Inferno armor. Storm speed, shields. Blood dragon. I think there's some video stuff in the back. Shepard, glad you stopped by. We don't get many visitors. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're probably right. I never did say thanks for the rescue. Liara never gave up on you, Farron. I just helped. I'm still amazed Liara came for me. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. I see you met the secretary. For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. You two must have been close. She's a good friend. Better than I deserve. How you holding up, Farron? I'm... I'll be all right. I wasn't always strapped into that interrogation chair. Drell can mentally escape into old memories. It came in handy on the bad days. How you holding up? Yeah. I'm... Drell can mentally escape into old memories. It came in handy on the bad days. <coughs> How did you and Liara both end up looking for my body? Cerberus headhunted me and Liara to steal your body from the Shadow Broker. I was working for the Broker at the time, and he's the one who scraped up your remains in the first place. Oh, man, scraped up. <laughs> Looks like you've made a friend. The drone follows everyone. I don't know why the Broker kept it around. I'm a shell for a specialized data processing VI, custom built to your specification, Shadow Broker. It helps coordinate the network's massive information feeds, but it could use a different interface tone. You deemed my default personality sufficient for your needs, Shadow Broker. I wish it would stop calling me that. It calls everybody that. How do you I think Liara before. Is the new Shadow Broker? Operations are almost fully recovered after a slight dip in efficiency. Ever since we repaired the network, Liara's been glued to the archives. I caught her sleeping at her desk more than once. <laughs> She's busy, but I think she likes it that way. Take it easy, Baron. Thanks.
What does this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Remember, you can zoom in for more detailed viewing and can pause anytime during playback. Aria Talok, Omega. Oh. <laughs> Emily Wong, set it out. Dancing. <laughs> Whoa, Dina, dude. <laughs> Looks like he's wearing yeah, I know, right? Yeah, he does. I'll loosen up a little bit. Um, okay. Is he just sitting at home looking out the window? Krogan <laughs> <laughs> gonna punch her? I don't remember what happens here. <laughs> nice, nice capture there in midair. <laughs> she has that effect on people. Paper 20. Set it out. Kill the Krogan, I guess. Matriarch Atheta, Ilium. Is that Liara? It looks like Liara. Erdnot Torsk, Tachanka. Oh. Oh man, that was pretty gruesome. Elias Kellum, Omega. Ooh. Jacob Taylor, Normandy, SR. Of course. Six pack abs, man. Subject zero. Purgatory. Ship now defunct. Oh, man. Why couldn't we have seen that in the game? That would have been awesome. Aria Talok. Omega. 
Alright, so we're back to the beginning. That's it. So we did that. We did that too. It's nearly time to repurchase effective caste status on Kashan. I have deducted funds to grant you full elite access. I think we get the opportunity to go back and, and reminisce with her on the Normandy, right? Isn't that part of How this? How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. You're not going to turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? <laughs> it's a valid I can't question. I understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. <laughs> Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning in the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How'd you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-spaceflight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. He gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So, you and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. Those blue He's eyes, really too. to me for saving him. <laughs> but it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. It was good <clears throat> talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship. Maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. That sounds great. Why don't you come up now? Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. She probably grew up and changed in that way more than any other character in the entire trilogy. Very naive and young. I mean, she's still young, but... Did you enjoy Very naive the tour? and didn't know much about the world when we first met her. Yes, it's a beautiful ship, and I ran into Joker. where she wound up at he the end of the third game. Me. Although he did ask if I'd embraced eternity lately. Of course he did. I also spoke with Doctor Chalkwas. I'm glad she's doing well. 
I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. Those were in her apartment. At the beginning. I thought I'd never see these again. I thought I'd seen them. <laughs> that picture is still face more down. Than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sends his best and hopes you're okay. So how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me, I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. You and your team destroyed the Collectors and walked out alive. We fought them in their own base and we won. They can't call us young or primitive anymore. Young? You know, I'm 108. <laughs> 109 in a couple of months. Oh, I should get you something nice. You're alive again. I've got everything I want. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? A chance to give Garrus some peace? <laughs> I guess I'm fighting for us. All of us. That's a lot of responsibility. People are messy, awkward, sometimes selfish or cruel. But they're trying, and I'm going to make sure they have a chance. I hope the galaxy proves itself worthy of the effort you're putting into saving it. I should get back to my base, but thanks for inviting <clears throat> me, Shepard. I'm assuming. I know we were just in her cabin, but it's going to put us back down into the room where all the terminals were. Okay, cool. No new messages. Uh, we got some upgrades. I think. Make sure we have those ready to go for tomorrow. No, nope, we took them all already. All right. We'll grab save and call it a night. I am famished and I am going to go get something to eat. I'm starving. All right. Menu, menu. Thank you, Misbehave. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming out. And watching the end. Oh, man. Pumpkin pie. Man, I could really go for a piece of pumpkin pie right now. Or turkey. Or, well, maybe not turkey. I'm a little turkeyed out. Pizza sounds good, but... I don't have, um... I don't have any, like, leftovers. I could just throw a couple pieces in a microwave or whatever. I'd have to cook an entire one. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. All right. So, yeah, that's going to be it for the night, guys. We're going to, um... Let's see. For tomorrow... Um, as I mentioned before, we're going to do the Arrival DLC. Thank you, Gosh. Um, we'll be able to start Mass Effect 3 tomorrow. Um, I just need to go in and make sure that, you know, I've got everything. Um, you know, all the textures and stuff are working fine and all that stuff. Um, so, so we can just roll right into it. And, and get started with it so we'll, we'll be able to get at least the one hour that i mentioned earlier that i wouldn't i wouldn't start it unless we can get at least an hour and we'll certainly be able to get that so we'll start mass effect 3 tomorrow finish up with arrival tomorrow noon noon thank you gosh noon eastern time for four hours noon to four i will see you guys then enjoy the rest of your night